I realized I never showed y'all my homemade placards that I had to make. Look at that. Hanging on by three. Yeah, I had to make all four of them like I was saying in the other video. I mean, uh, I just crossed the Colorado state line about 160 miles from Denver. Got a little loves right now. Had to take my 30 minute break. I just checked it. I got me something to eat. My clock is just reset. Four hours, 23 minutes. See, I'm about to go ahead and knock these. Uh, might take me about three hours, three and a half hours to get there. I'll go ahead and knock that out. Talk with y'all shortly. Bright and early, D. I'm here. I was here. Actually, I was here last night. I already got my straps off. It's about 7, 6.42, 7.30. They said they're going to come get me. Started getting unloaded. New day, new money. What up, gang? Where am I at right now? Littleton, Colorado. Just dropped off my load in uh, Denver. That Elite Roofing. Little hazmat load I had. Dropped that off. Spent the night there last night, so I was already there. Let me go see what this motherfucker want. Motherfucker about to load me up now. Yeah, man, the motherfuckers about to load me up. Had to make sure my wood won't in the way. I got that right there because the damn sun's shining. That's why I got the glasses on. But yeah, man, I want to go ahead and give, give a little. All y'all boys drove through that storm over the weekend. You know, hope everybody made it out safe. I, I did. Shout out my boy, my truckers keeper. The little video you put up where he said, uh, it don't matter how long you stay in the race. No, it don't matter how long it take you to finish the race as long as you stay in it. Yeah, I was at a damn uh, stop at a rest area during the storm Saturday. Another driver came up to me and talking to me. Talking about he had to shut it down. And at that point, when I stopped there, I already drove about 200 miles. I sent a lot of trucks in the ditches, man. But you know, the roads are pretty much clear. I mean, I'm not saying, if you, if you feel like you gotta shut it down, shut it down. But look, man, all you gotta do, get on that road, go out there, take it easy, man. Run, run, if you get in a bad spot, you know, 25, 35, till you get up out of it. Hey, I ran straight through that storm, man. Made it all the way out. Stopped snoring, you know, I started seeing sunlight, grass. I made it out, man. So, you know, that, then, then that same guy was like, it's a Petro two miles down the road. He was like, yeah, man, I had to walk two miles down the road to get breakfast and then walk back. Let's see what this damn guy wants. Getting on my goddamn area. Oh, he don't want shit. Yeah, man. Motherfucker, I ain't no dummy. You telling me you gonna walk two miles down the road to get breakfast, then walk two miles back. You can't drive that truck two miles to the next exit and, and park at the Petro if you want to shut it down. Nah, what it was, he was just resetting his clocks. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. Just let your clocks reset. Me, I wanted to get my damn load here today so I can get paid for it. Payroll cut, payroll cut off on Monday. I wanted to get my load here. I want trying to sit for two days at a rest area. If I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna sit at a truck stop. So yeah, that's all that was. He, he, hey, tell that shit to somebody else, bro. Got to try and get the steering wheel right. Yeah, man. It was something, oh yeah, something else I want to tell y'all, man. I always think about shit. Shit that people tell me, I forget to tell y'all in the video. Another another flat better told me. He said, uh, the one, that same guy that helped me fold my tarps. Hey, that motherfucker like two things in the world are better with two people. He said that's sex and folding tarps. I said, God damn, boy, these truckers, they be coming up with some quotes, man. I always get a quote from somebody. Another, another thing I want to say, you know, for all you new drivers, man, like myself, you know, I'm new, but you know, hey, I ain't no dummy though, man. I, I, I'm learning how this, learning how this game operates. 
you know, I'm, I always feel like I'm ahead of the game when I get to the sh uh, to my drop the night before. You know, I can drop it without without starting my clock. So, and I sit for a little while um, without starting my clock till I get my next load, and you know, I start heading there. So I dropped my load this morning. Shout out to Mexicans, man. Hey, they they killed they killed that trailer, man. About five minutes, about ten forklifts. Hey, they cleared that damn trailer. Took all the wood off. Helped me move my tarps and everything. So yeah, man, shout out to Mexicans. I got a little footage on my snap. I'll put it up here real quick. One thing about it, bro, these damn Mexicans gonna work, bro. About 10 Mexicans on 10 forklifts. Killed this damn trailer. About five minutes. Look at them. You ain't already follow me on Snapchat. Follow me on Snapchat, cause uh, I, I get little little videos out quicker. You know, anybody wanna keep up with me. But yeah, man, Um. anyway. I drop a load, sitting there waiting on my pre-plan. I'm gonna tell you how these motherfuckers try to get over on you now. I'm looking at my pre-plan, my dead head miles, 10, 10 miles dead head. So I'm looking at it, I'm like, hell yeah, 10 miles, that ain't nothing. I'm like, that's, I'm thinking that shit right around the corner. So I don't got my own GPS. I use the Qualcomm GPS to sit here. So you know, they, they sending you the route to the Qualcomm. All you gotta do is click on it. So I go click on the route, Get, get the directions to the uh, where I'm at right now. The mileage come up. That shit say like 47 miles. I'm like, I'm like 40, I'm like 40, I'm like, I'm looking at the shit, Googled it, got the right address, make sure it's right. But on my pre-plan, it's saying deadhead 10 miles. So I'm like, all right, let me, let me call in and, and check on this real quick. So I called in and told my dispatcher, I'm like, look man, my pre-plan saying 10 miles away. But 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 the route the job gave me on the Qualcomm is saying like 47 miles, and at this point it's like 7:50. I'm supposed to pick it up at nine. And he was like, "Let me check it real quick." And then he checked it, and it was right. It was like 47 miles away, but the pre-plan only was saying 10 miles. And he was like, "You know what? You're right." He was like, "But there's nothing I can do about that." He was like, "This is software the company uses, you know, whatever zip code to zip code, 10 miles." I'm like, all right, so, okay. It, it don't seem like much, but I'm, I'm gypped out of like, what was that, 37 miles of pay? I mean, you know, it is what it is. But but I I didn't, I didn't I wasn't really too much pressed about the pay. You know, I won't think about that. What I was concerned about was, you know, your, your productivity, you know, you gotta be on time to your pickups and your drop-offs. So that's what I, that's more or less what I was looking at. So that's what I was telling him. I'm like, okay, so the computer's saying it's 10 miles away. And so technically, the way y'all looking at it on the computer, I shouldn't be late for this pickup because it's only 10 miles away from where I'm at. But in actuality, it's only 47 miles. I'm like, so man, 47 miles, I'm dealing with traffic. I'm in Denver, I'm dealing with traffic, you know. And I actually got here, I got stuck in some traffic, but you know, I had to, Hit my little flatbed game skills, do a little whipping, whipping, and you know, you know how we do. I had to get up out that shit. So, um, yeah, man, I made it here. I made it here eight, eight fifty, eight fifty two, eight fifty two. I pulled up, arrived at Shipper. So I, I made it before, made it before the time it was. But I just want to put that out there, man. And then he was like, "Well, good thing you mentioned that." He was like, "I, t I put a note down that you actually did hit the forty seven miles empty." I'm like, "All right, man, whatever." So yeah, man, y'all keep an eye on stuff like that, man. Don't be scared to don't be scared to ask questions. If you got a question, don't be scared to ask it. And these guys are loading me right now. As soon as I finish this cigarette, I'm gonna go ahead and get out. And start getting my straps and all that together. Whew. Picking up some plastic, some plastic building materials. Like a 700 mile run. What time is it? 10? No, oh, this 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 clock ain't right. 9, 926 here. I'm going down to San Angelo, Texas. I don't know what time zone they're in. They might be in Central Time. Yeah, I'm about to go ahead back there and start getting my straps together so I can get on up out of here. 700 miles. That's nothing, man. It's nothing. Some of y'all, some of y'all drivers. Scary ass drivers take about three, four days running 700 miles. Hey, the same motherfuckers sitting at that rest stop. So why they gonna wait the storm out here? They they probably just not rolled out Monday morning. Hell, I dropped my load off. 
I can't, I ain't got time to play, man. I gotta get my motherfucking money. Alright, man, check in with y'all later. Go get these damn straps on. Every load I get, I always try to get the load and get that shit done without no bullshit involved. I just picked this stuff up, man. I ain't even made it out the parking lot. Look what happened. Stuck in the motherfucking snow. What you gonna do, D? You see it? I'm about to get my ass to work. Well, like I was telling y'all, man, every look with every load, I try to I try to cut the bullshit from the beginning. Every load, but something always happens. Look at me talking shit about y'all. And my ass gets stuck in the damn parking lot. I drove through not one, but two blizzards. Two blizzards. I drove through one on 80. I drove through one on 70. Yeah, man. They say 90 minutes. 90 minutes for this uh, tow truck get here. So I guess we're just going to sit here and wait. 90 minutes. Might be longer than that. Catch in later. Well, check in later, I meant. Well, record finally showed up. Let's see how this goes. What's up, man? I'm assuming you're the stock mountain driver. Yeah, man. What's the actual address here? Oh, hell. So that way I can yell at my dispatcher because I'm pretty sure it's not what uh, I have. 8257 Blakeland Drive. They sent me to 87. Yeah, 82. Which um, doesn't exist. Damn. So I went down and I've been sitting in the parking lot for about the last five minutes. Damn. Yeah, I had just messaged my dispatcher. He said he was like five minutes out. Yeah, I was. I was going down the street and I got to Copart. And I know Copart's the last one. So I'll probably want you backwards so we don't carry anything. Yeah. All right. So you need me to do anything? I'll just have you idle the truck. All right. All went to, I'm debating which way I want to take you. I might just grab my shovel and knock this out real fast. Yeah, I tried to do that, man, and shit didn't help. Just, uh, oh, I just don't want to tear anything up underneath the truck. Yeah. Because that's not going anywhere, I don't think, so. Make it a little nicer coming back down, at least. All right. Yeah. I'll just get flipped around here, and then we'll get you out. All right, thanks, man.
Walmart is free. This morning I had no idea that I would be stuck in some snow. Checking my message real quick. I got a little message I want. I want y'all. I, I got something I want y'all to help me with, man. But first I'm gonna say this: Good things come to those who wait. Y'all ever heard that phrase? I'm gonna tell you why I feel like that. A couple nights ago, I was gonna do some laundry at the Lowe's. I was on the phone with my buddy Shaq over there at Swift. I was on the phone with him. I said, Shaq, man, I wanna do some laundry, but I don't got no damn uh, laundry detergent. He was like, man, that shit hot at the truck stop. I said, yeah, I could imagine. So I went and looked around for the for the laundry detergent. I, I finally ran across some. Man, that shit was like the size of a bottle of uh, dishwasher liquid. About that big, tied. Guess how much it was? About $9. I said, nah, and then it only said it only washed 12 loads. That's what it said. Man, that shit like it probably washed four loads, man. You be done use that shit, you mix some water in it. Goddamn, you know how you do back in the hood, you know. Put some dish turds in there, do what you gotta do, whip that shit up. But anyway, good thing good things come to those who wait. I'll tell you why. The next day, I got I got uh I was on, I was getting off the exit at my fuse solution. I made a wrong turn. Instead of me making a right, I made a left. So I had to turn around. Just so happens, when I turned around, guess where I ended up at? Dollar General parking lot. I wasn't even gonna go in. I said, you know what? Since I'm already turned around, I'm on the side of the street. I'm about to go in there. Guess what I got? Six dollars. Extra. 100 loads, six bucks. But just the night before, I was about to, I was about to buy it now, I was about to buy it, but I said, you know what, I'll wait. I still got clean underwear, still got clean socks and t-shirts and stuff. I was like, you know, I'll wait. So anyway, scratch that. Back to today, got stuck in the, in the snow. I want y'all to help me with something. For my flatbed brothers and everybody else, I want y'all to help me with something. I'm going to put, at the end of this video, I'm going to go Google the, the trucking company that pulled me out. Uh, I'm looking at it right now. Max Fleet Service up in uh, Colorado. I'm going to Google it. I'm going to screenshot it. I'm going to put it at the end of this video. I'm going to be the first one. I'm going to give Max Fleet Service, I'm going to give them five stars. And what I want y'all to help me with I'm gonna give I'm gonna give them five stars and I'm gonna comment thank you Brian. Brian was the one that came and pulled me out. B-R-I-A-N. So everybody help me out now. I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna put the link down in the comments. Max Fleet Service. Go there, give them five stars, comment, thank you, Brian. Let's see if we can make Brian. Let's it's 2019, man. We looking, we looking ahead. We don't want Brian to be employee of the month. We don't want him to be employee of the year. Let's go ahead and make Brian an employee of the century. How about that? All right, folks. Anybody else just happened to run across my page today? Hey, like, comment, subscribe, whatever you want to do. Flatbed gang, brothers. I'm out.